Hello, welcome to another Gun Evolve version 2 video. That is the double Zeta, and I got a match here for you on uh, almost an impact site. Uh, well, I mean, technically, it is an impact site. It's a colony drop, and I'm using the uh, the double Zeta level 2, which is the 700 double Zeta, and we're in a 700 match. And you saw from that build earlier, uh, yeah, I kind of have a little bit more of a balanced damage build where I want some range strength and some melee strength. Uh, the double Zeta isn't too shabby in terms of output, right? And I do have a lot of beam resistance, and I was hoping this match to kind of play more of a kind of a mid-range kind of way, kind of come in with melee, which there's some moments where I kind of do that, and there's some moments where I have to get in for melee, and we do do some pretty good damage, right? And the reason I'm picking the double Zeta here for 700 is because, uh, well, this is around the time where the new FF came out. And, uh, you know, I, I obviously couldn't play the best support in the game, the FF Zazabi, because I would get swarmed by three new Gundam FFs. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I didn't want to deal with that. So we're going to pick the Double Zeta just to have a little bit of fun, right? Uh, you know, I could have picked a lot better of a suit, but uh, no, 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 we're just going to pick the Double Zeta. And we'll see how we can do on Colony Drop. And the Double Zeta itself, it's not a, uh, it's kind of an underdog story, right? The Double Zeta was the first 650 suit in the game. Uh, and the, unfortunately, immediately after it was released, they had the Cubile, and the Cubile just took over 650. Double Zeta was just left in the dust. It was, it was just nowhere near as good as the Cubile. And uh, you know, it, more suits came in. Double Zeta just got, it just dropped hard. It, it's been buffed significantly now. Like I've been, I think in terms of like normal kind of buffs, it's been buffed like I want to say three times. And then they also buffed it to where it can finally transform and use its shoulder cannons too. So <laughs> it's been a, been a bit of a rough patch, right? Uh, so it, it, I think it's fine now, but I think that even well, as more suits get added in, and as you know, recently the High New and the uh, Nightingale are in now, they probably could kind of kind of change up at least the level two, help that out a little bit. Uh, or you know you know how we have the uh, the mass production double Zeta at 600, uh, yeah that has the ability to move while charging its head cannon, which the double Zeta can't do, which is okay cool the mass production is just better outright in that aspect right, uh, so uh, yeah I do wish maybe the double Zeta needs a little bit of a buff in terms of those areas right, but in, uh, in terms of what it has already the double Zeta does have a uncharged uh, uh, or a beam rifle that you can shoot uncharged. Uh, you can also charge it up to, to get an instant stun. You have the shoulder cannons, as we mentioned before, that you have to stand still to fire those. You can get stunned that way. You have a really long beam saber, which is, you know, admittedly is really, really fun to use, especially you know hitting those that raw down swings, right? Uh, and you'll be you'll see me making use of the range of the uh, of the beam saber quite often. You do have Vulcans, and you have um, a backpack full of missiles. You can use that while boosting. And uh, as we mentioned before, you have the uh, the high mega cannon. And you'll see an example of me, you know, the, how the damage output of the double Zeta can be really helpful. We're just going to be we're tag team this uh, this unicorn, and yeah, his health just gets melted. You'll see that against a raid later on, uh, where we, where each uncharged shot does like over three thousand damage, which is insane. Alright, let's push towards the Unicorn. I believe the Sinanju unfortunately died, and we avoided a counter because of the range of our uh, melee, because I know that would have countered me if he was closer. Finish off the Unicorn because the Double Zeta is more powerful th than the Unicorn. Don't at me. <laughs> Fuck the Unicorn. And uh, go for another raw downswing on the Sazabi. The enemy team does have quite a few of uh, some nasty suits. Uh, they have definitely a good portion of melee suits. Well, I believe they have double Sazabis, a Sinanju, and a Unicorn, and something else I cannot remember. Oh, well, a new, new Gundam FF, right? Or maybe they had two new Gundam FFs and then one Sazabi. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to try and see if we can provide some damage for our team here. Because, uh, you know, the new, the, the, I almost said the new Gundam, the double Zeta, unfortunately, it just doesn't have as much, you know, because it's been power crept, it does not have nearly as much in terms of versatility as uh, the other suits in this game at high cost. Uh, you know, you got your one stun, you got your, uh, you, you know, potentially you can stun lock, right? Uh, you have, I believe, level one maneuver armor. You have a uh, single dodge roll. I think that might be turning into a double dodge roll when you reach low health, right, for your uh, bio sensor. Uh, meanwhile, you got really crazy suits like. Uh, Sinanju Stein, uh, the Rebawu, you know, just just name like two, right? At 650, 700, uh, and you know, now we're getting the uh, the high new Gundam and uh, the Nightingale, right? 
Oh, I should also mention the EZZ, which is just the double Zeta, right? It's just the enhanced double Zeta. And yeah, it's fucking enhanced all right, right? So, um, yeah, I do think a double Zeta needs a little bit of some help now. Um, but, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that you can still do at least okay with it. Oh, we got melee by, uh, from behind by somebody. You know, we went, to, we went to go try and hit the new Gundam FF here. And I got hit again by somebody from behind. I should have kept my, you know, close eye on my radar. But uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to get a good old melee on him. And then you'll see, uh, yeah, uncharged shots. Uh, yeah, that was, what, 3,300, 3,400? Maybe 3,800. I couldn't tell uh, against the new Gundam FF. So, yeah, damage, not a problem on the double Zeta. It's just uh, you really have to be careful how you apply yourself in a match. And, in, and honestly, in a 66, it's probably better for you to use a double Zeta since you have that extra person to help work with. Uh, but in a 5v5, a little bit more trickier, but uh, especially, you know, at a 4v4 too, you know, going down. Uh, but yeah, we try to set up for a head, a, a head, I almost said head crash. That is not what that's called. That's like some kind of Mega Man fucking move called, uh, or move name, right? Uh, the, the high Mega vo uh, Cannon, right? And unfortunately, uh, I think that was going to be our time to catch up in the match, which we unfortunately missed. Uh, you know, we, we came in with full health, well, I wasn't full health, to try and fight the enemy team as they spawned in. Yeah, and as you saw, unfortunately, I got wiped, our team is getting wiped, and it was it was our one moment to kind of catch up, and, and unfortunately, we were not going to really catch up and uh, beat the enemy team this match, you know. Spoiler alert for the next one minute and uh, almost 40 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and get in the double Zeta and just see how much more damage we can do. And yeah, it's just unfortunate because the enemy team was just straight better than us. Uh, it doesn't help that I'm in double Zeta, but... <laughs> Alright, we're in the suit, and since it, nobody else is ready yet, we're going to go ahead and just... If there's anybody that sticks out, we're just going to poke at them. Uh, I don't believe they're going to rush us immediately. I think we're going to rush towards them, because obviously they're winning, and uh, they're going to be playing it safe. Alright, good old shot on the Sazabi. Just getting some more poking. I believe he's going to go off the cliff and go back around to, uh, to his team, and then we're going to get stuck in a, a classic... Uh, moment of a <laughs> a uh, uh, oh man, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ah, it's, it's really escaping me. It's on the tip of my tongue. I, I just get reminded of Team Fortress 2 every time of like Dust Bowl, where you have this little corridor that you have to go through. Even though there's a little bottom section here on the on the map that you guys can go go under and you know kind of circle the enemy team, we're just stuck in this little cross section here. Just either wanting to pour out or not pour out. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, the number four goes out first. We're going to go ahead and get a shot off on the new and the Sazabi. We tried downswing the new Gundam, but we're going to go ahead and go after him and chase him down. Side swing into downswing. Accidentally downswung the other new Gundam, so go for another downswing. And uh, retreat back just so I don't get immediately followed up on. And I believe we're going to wait for the Sazabi to come around the corner and uh, see what we can do. And you'll see, again, another example of the uh, the Double Zeta's uh, good good damage output, right? Going for a combo that will do more than uh, half of the Sazabi's health. So yeah, not too bad at all. And fortunately, because, uh, yeah, I get countered. <laughs> the Double Zeta does have a pretty easy to counter uh, melee pattern, right? Because of how long and uh, uh, slow its melees are. And uh, yeah, m mission failed, unfortunately. But we'll see how we did with the Double Zeta. And, uh, yeah, top assist, top damage, which, hey, I don't mind that at all, 130k, almost 140, uh, only, only person on my team to beat my rival, so, <laughs> and, uh, fourth place, two and two, so, yeah, not the, uh, uh, not the best match, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it does showcase just uh, some good moments with the double Zeta, you know, and, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want, I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the uh, the comment section how you feel about the Double Zeta. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Now, design-wise, I really don't like the Double Zeta. A little bit too goofy for my taste. Uh, and I, and I say that even though I like amphibious suits, right? But uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the the gameplay feels pretty satisfying when things go your way with the, uh, with the suit. And, you know, again, like I said, it feels pretty fun at times. Especially, you know, nailing those downswings and whatnot. Uh, you can feel, you feel kind of powerful at times, right? But unfortunately, because the suit lacks, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't have nearly as much skills or utility as other suits at its cost. Uh, it feels a little bit, um, a little bit lackluster at moments, right? But the, hey, if you can play your cards right, you can do some pretty good damage. Like I said, in six v six, you could potentially do really well in a six v six, you know, uh, because you know just having that extra person there. 
uh, you can kind of kind of play a little bit of mid range with the suit, right? Which is what I try to do in a five v five. But unfortunately, yeah, things didn't go our way. The enemy team was just, they were just straight up better, right? But we did try our best, and it just shows that the the double zeta is just it's just grown in age, right? <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely shown his age. I mean, honestly, depending on who you ask, it showed his age right after the cupola got put in. But uh, <laughs> again, it's been buffed plenty of times now, so I think they can probably give it a little bit of a small buff now to uh, again to help it walk with its uh, while charging its uh, head cannon and um, maybe some stun accumulation changes on its Vulcans or whatnot to kind of help out with that and make it a little bit more consistent. Kind of like with the EZZ, where the EZZ has some pretty pretty awesome sun accumulation with you know the uh the uncharged beam rifle into your vulcans and whatnot so uh, yeah i think it'd be nice for the double zeta and uh yeah that'll be it and i will see you guys later bye